Those antelope tags? I don't agree with Sportsmen that. in New Mexico complain big game tags to hunt pronghorn, commonly known as antelope, are harder and harder to come by. Growing up in Deming, New Mexico, Ray Trejo went hunting with his grandfather and father starting when he was five years old. For Trejo, hunting has been a way of life ever since, and it's what he enjoys the most about living in New Mexico. It's an honor, it's a privilege to be able to, to come outdoors, to be able to have that luxury of um, getting in my pickup and, and going out in public land and being able to enjoy this great land of New Mexico. However, it's getting tough for Trejo and others in New Mexico to get hunting tags through the New Mexico Game and Fish State Lottery System. We see a decline in, in residents drawing tags and being able to go out and enjoy being outdoors. It's been about 15 years now since Trejo was able to draw a big game antelope tag. This is what scares me. It's almost uh, to the point where the tradition and heritage of hunting in this state is becoming extinct for blue collar sportsmen. According to Jeremy Vesbach, Executive Director of the New Mexico Wildlife Federation, resident hunters in New Mexico have trouble getting antelope and other big game hunting licenses because of the system the New Mexico Game and Fish has in place. The Department of Game and Fish here has, has authorized people to block access to hunting licenses and you cannot get to a hunting license unless you pay somebody for it. I mean it's this huge government entitlement program now that um, has a lot of unintended and, and very bad consequences. One of which is, and the one we care most about, is, is you know pushing aside the, the long uh, history of, of hunting for the average person. In New Mexico, of the more than 6,000 antelope tags issued in 2009, more than 4,000 certificates went straight to landowners. According to Ray Trejo, the landowners usually always turn around and sell the tags to the highest bidder, usually someone from out of state. Yes, um, we know that a majority of the tags are going to non-residents. They'll sell them to outfitters or, uh, you know, I've seen them on eBay, I've seen them on Craigslist. You know, they go to the highest bidder. From what Trejo has seen, the bids usually range between $800 and $2,500. To be able to receive landowner tags for their stewardship and be able to sell our wildlife on a second market is absolutely privatization of our wildlife and I don't agree with it. Neither does Jeremy Vesbach. We're concerned about the, the future of hunting opportunity. If, if you take the, you know, the, the ability for the average person to draw a tag and, and get a place to hunt, if you take that away, hunting's in danger. I mean, you look at if hunting is just for the wealthy and the elite, um, hunting's going to not be around long. In 2009, only 1,432 antelope licenses were offered to resident hunters in New Mexico. Not nearly enough, according to Trejo. The wildlife in this state belong to, to, the, to the residents of New Mexico. Trejo hopes the New Mexico Game and Fish Department change the way they distribute hunting tags in the future, so he and others get more opportunities. We contacted the New Mexico Game and Fish, but were unable to schedule an interview. For KRWG, I'm Jared Anderson.